Christmas is just over. A good time to tell you about a wonderful trick for processing bass sounds. In this bass pattern, one fundamental tone is too weak. The lowest note is pretty quiet. You can clearly hear this and see it here. The frequency analyzer shows the exact frequency of the fundamental tone. It is precisely 83 Hz. Just boosting exactly this frequency with a narrow filter band is not what we actually want. After all, as you can clearly see, each note of this bass sound consists of more than just the fundamental frequency. There are also various overtones that eventually define the sound. So, our assignment is this. We must get a louder fundamental tone with rich harmonics. When talking about harmonics, the audio engineer immediately thinks of saturation, that is, distortion. It's quite convenient that this bass sound is already processed by the saturator to generate harmonics. The distortion, however, is still pretty discreet. These are ideal conditions for this technique. We insert an EQ before the saturator and use it to significantly boost the fundamental frequency, that is 83 Hz, with a narrow filter band. This gives our saturation some serious work to do at this one frequency. And then it does what all distortion devices do. It generates harmonics. Quite a few of those and, due to our frequency processing, only for the fundamental tone. That's exactly what we need. The fundamental tone itself is now too loud as a result of our processing, understandably, as we have added several dB. Therefore, we simply copy the EQ, which is inserted before the saturator, and place it after the saturation. We then reduce the 83 Hz band with the same Q factor until the bass line sounds balanced. Since some of the frequency boost of the first EQ is converted into distortion, the reduction has a smaller value than the boost. This post-saturator EQing does not change the harmonics at all, as these are driven by the pre-saturation EQ. With its narrow bandwidth, the second EQ only adjusts the fundamental tone that has become too loud. Just listen to the difference with and without the two equalizers. This is how it sounds without our processing. And like this with the effects. Now the lowest note is louder and has quite a few harmonics. This way it works much better with the rest of the track. I hope that you can use this technique when you get the chance and that it will help you. There will be regular studio tips and tricks on this channel. Just subscribe and don't miss any of them.